Hello, my virtual friends. Uh, it's been a long time, yes, yeah, since I did a new video. You know that I love the Model 32, and yesterday a new firmware was released, and uh, it fixes a lot of bugs, at the different things. But the most important for me uh, was the fact that when you play the Moog Mother uh, 32 with an external sequencer, for example, the Quark SQ1. When you start your sequencer, okay, the sequencer uh, of the Moog started to, and um, that was a big problem. You couldn't do anything, and so this is corrected with the new firmware. You can um, deactivate this uh, MIDI signal, and the procedure uh, to do uh, to, to do this is not very clear in the manual. So. Uh, here is what you can do. Uh, first, uh, you must connect the MIDI to a sequencer and uh, turn on your, sequ your sequencer. It works better if you do this. And um, you must press reset accent, shift, set end and eight. And it doesn't always work from the first time, so you have to insist. A little bit okay it works this light is blinking yellow and you have this led uh, that are light so you must go to uh, the eight page step down is the number of the page one and you get uh, you can use this um, to um, applicate new uh, things but what interest me is to go to the eight page okay i'm on the eight page on seven it passed from six uh, to eight because on seven there is nothing and you must press the second button here okay i deactivate uh, this midi signal so the sequencer of the moog will not uh, start and when I press 2, it will start when I use an external sequencer. That's not what I want. So I press 2. I press reset, shift, set, end, and 8 a uh, few times to go back to my page. Well, you can see it doesn't work. doesn't always work from the first uh, try. Okay. And now, when I start the sequencer of the SQ1, okay, the sequencer of the MOOC don't start. So, uh, I think this video will be very helpful for you uh, because the manual is not so clear. Thank you for watching and uh, <laughs> good luck. Bye bye.